mask off, ready to go. We're going to go ahead and wipe it down with wax and grease remover again just to make sure it's clean. We've got all the, the remaining part of the panel masked off, but we don't want any spray on. Again, this is just a real fast mask. Uh, to get real detailed in a lot of this, we have some other training meals that probably take a little more, but uh, this kind of takes you through the steps, you know, basically before your artwork and after your artwork and the steps that need to, to take place. You got it wiped down. This is a tack rag. This is one that we've already used to find it. What you want to do, when you get a brand new tack rag, be sure to open it all the way up and uh, And then you kind of fold it up and make a puffy little ball out of it. You don't really want to leave it folded, folded up and try to use it. That may uh, have some of the glue transferred to your panel. This actually has got a sticky stuff on it. So you don't want to press that very hard onto the panel. You may transfer some of the glue uh, stuff that they have on this tack run to the panel. You don't want that. So just uh, lightly press down. This just gets fine uh, dust and lint, things like that off. Make sure you don't pull any of your masking up. Got that. And now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to kind of go around this and put some yellow on there. And, and again, uh, not real too worried about what the end result looks like in this. We're just going to kind of put those up together and see what it looks like. Make sure it's good and dry. Okay, so this is just some yellow I'll put here. We're going to start off by Okay, we'll let that dry for just a little bit so we we'll put any more on. Okay, we'll continue. Another thing I want to note, this is a water-based type paint here. It is an automotive paint. There are different ones you can use. But if you're ever using any solvent-based paints, you know, you want to be sure that you have well ventilation and you also have a, a paint respirator. And we're going to clear, you know, after we're done, we're going to be clearing. And, you know, I will have a respirator to make sure that that is where there's isocyanates and clearly can be very harmful. So we're just going to kind of continue outlining this, put getting more yellow on there. You can see right here where I kind of got a little heavy, but that's okay because I'm wanting to close the yellow in a little bit anyway. So, and the good thing about airbrushing, when you do get good at it, at it, uh, you know, you can kind of always come back and fix your mistakes and things like that. So, and again, you know, I, I don't do this all the time. I'm kind of an uh, amateur when it comes to airbrushing, but uh, again, I can still come back and correct a lot of this. I'm going to spill a little more of this in. Okay, now we're just going to leave it like that. We're going to leave a little bit of the centers there, and I'm going to throw some orange into that. Okay, we'll just kind of leave it at that. We could spend a lot more time on this. You could do highlights. You 
you come in and do saddles and a lot of things like that. But we, we're not going to do all that right now. We're just going to kind of leave it like that. Uh, we'll unmask it here in a little bit, let it dry, and then we'll get it ready to clear coat and see what it looks like. Okay, we got it unmasked, got it cleaned off, tacked and everything. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, after you get it unmasked, if you had something that where some overspray got on this, you could uh, lightly sand it with uh, either a thousand grit again to sand that paint off of there, or uh, use a, a gray scuff pad. Uh, we didn't have that. Now, we did have a, a few chips that we didn't fix. Obviously, you'd want to fix that as well before you did this. But, uh, we got this laid out, and, and it's, uh, we just kind of see test it to see what it looks like. Uh, we really could have spent a lot more time on this and, and detailed that out a little better, but we just kind of uh, see, seeing what it looked like. It looks a little different, but uh, what, what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and clear coat this. We're going to put two coats, and what I may do, sometimes if I have stripes, I'll put a real thin coat, coat on first, a mist coat, just a tack coat, so that uh, you don't get any, your clear trying to run over these, uh, uh, the lines that we just painted in here. So first I'm going to put a tack coat, and then two full wet coats, and then we'll be done. 